modulus of rigidity so you consider an example that uh, uh, cutting a cake while cutting a cake uh, we will apply we will place the chalk perpendicular to the cake and we will cut it so the the uh, force acting on it is normal normal force or a stress acting on the cake is normal stress why because it is perpendicular to the cake and after cutting that if you see the half portion which have been cut if you uh, see the force what type of force is acting there the type of force acting is parallel to the surface parallel to the surface of the cake so the type of uh, stress so that also applies a stress on the cake that stress is called shear stress so uh, here mo uh, coming to the modulus of rigidity we will consider a shear stress uh, or shearing modulus see here shearing modulus or a uh, modulus of rigidity is in, uh, given by the letter g so g equal to here the force will act on this block uh, tangentially so tangential stress upon shearing shearing strain now let us consider one uh, example here you consider a block here and block is placed on one place and at the block is fixed at the bottom at the bottom the block is fixed and a force is acting upon the area of the block area a this is the area of the block a and the force is acting on the block tangentially see you consider if this is the block so i am not applying the force vertically downward or vertically upward i am applying the force on the block on the surface of the block so tangent to the block so here also a tangential force is applying on the block so what happens to the block if i apply a force vertically downward the block will go down or compress if i apply force vertically upward the block may be uh, lifted somewhat up but i am applying a force a force is applied tangential to the surface so what happens to the block is the block will bend as the down part of the block is fixed the block will bend so like this it will bend so here if you consider the stress or a stress acting on the block is stress is nothing but force upon area a force is acting on the block and a a area so force upon area so what is the uh, shearing strain acting on the uh, block see here the shearing strain will be uh, due to the application of stress the resultant strain will be see it is changing its angle why because if force is acting if the block or the uh, iron beam will bend so how much it will is bending it is bending some angle theta so force upon area by theta theta angle it has been and i know that or you consider this as tan theta tangent angle so tan theta as the angle is very small this angle is very small so i am considering this as force upon area by theta why because angle is very small so you can take out this tan so here what is the angle is see the displacement it made some displacement here i am considering the displacement as delta x and this is having some length l so force upon area by theta is nothing but angle is equal to uh, you can consider as delta x by l opposite by adjacent or arc upon radius so this will be the arc this will be the radius and here so we can write it as delta x by l so this will be reciprocated so force into l by a into delta x after all reciprocating we will get this and see here 
the unit of uh, modulus of rigidity g is newton per meter square why because force newton and area meter square here uh, this one and this one will be uh, having the same unit so this won't come into consideration so the unit is newton per meter square or we can consider it as pascal this is the unit of uh, modulus of rigidity g and here if you want to uh, have a dimensional formula for this the dimensional formula is for newton kg meter per second square and uh, upon meter so uh, we will get a power minus 1 so that is mass power 1 and length power minus 1 and time power minus 2 so this is about the modulus of rigidity modulus of rigidity is nothing but the ratio of tangential stress upon shearing strain gives the modulus of rigidity thank you